All right, welcome to Advent of Code 2020, day 13. We've got about a minute to go here, uh, so I'm just gonna get started running things over. Kind of see the, uh, the setup I was using here, so let's run that. See that that's set up, okay, change the day, print the data, clear my test data, and we are ready to go. All right, 30 seconds. So despite the fact that it keeps being weird grid things, I'm really hopeful that today will be an assembly problem. Really, really hopeful that we go, we'll finally get an assembly problem. But who knows? And today I'll also try to make sure that my pen works so I can write down any notes. All right, here we go. All right, so what does this look like? Why isn't the input loading? There we go. Okay. Uh, What's 59? Oh, I see. Okay, so, um, uh, and Um, okay, good enough. Okay, 22nd. Site's a little slow today, huh? It's not good for me. Come on. Wow. Um. Okay. 
That's still relevant. Um, Okay, well that's a big ass function. Okay, whatever. Uh, just solve the CRT for me. Um, data x uh okay well wait um which is the right answer here uh t data crap 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 106 that's not right that's not right um print Okay, that's right. Okay, so then the only thing I have to do is basically comment this shit out and submit this. <laughs> Boom! Okay, yes, this was a Chinese remainder theorem problem. Luckily, I have already written code to solve the Chinese remainder theorem, and that is why I managed to solve it so quickly. Yes, I copy pasted this code, but guess what? It's, my, it's the own code that I wrote a long, 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 long time ago. I'm glad it worked. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.